Martin for the Supplemental Instruction Series of Videos for Chem 121, and today we're going to be talking about periodic trends. Periodic trends? Like clothing trends? Not quite. It's more about their properties than anything else. The elements, that is. Ah, oh, okay. I'm Joey Smokey, by the way. And we're going to be talking about periodic trends on the table. Okay, so yeah, it's a table. Yes. There's nothing trendy about a table. Well, I would argue that the periodic table is the trendiest thing on Earth, but I guess. that's beside the point. Chemistry is pretty awesome. Yes. What I, what I am talking about is the trends that the elements have with certain properties of the elements, such as atomic size, how easy it is to rip off electrons, and how much they want to take electrons. Okay. So let's first discuss atomic size. All right. So, if we were to talk about the trend going, you know, vertically, how would you think that the atomic size increases, going up or going down? Well, let's see. So, I would, I mean, I would look at the atomic weight because heavier something is, stands to reason to be bigger. So, as we go down, we get heavier. So, I would guess that atomic size gets bigger. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Now, what about if we go? Horizontally. Hmm. What's your guess on that one? Well, let's see. Looking at the atomic weights again, they're increasing this direction, so I'm going to say atomic size is bigger this way. Now, that's a good initial guess. That's what most people would get for, at first. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it's not quite right. It really? actually increases going to the left. Now, why is that? It has to do with the fact that even that you are right, it is increasing in weight as you go to the right. Mm -hmm. But that means you're adding more protons into your chain in each element. And right. you're adding essentially more positive charge. Mm -hmm. And since they still have electrons orbiting around them, that means those protons will pull those electrons toward them more easily. Oh, I see. So it's kind of like contracting it. Yes. Thing. So as a result, the overall atom gets smaller as you go to the right. OK, so I have a question, though. Okay. If that's the case with this, it's kind of like anti-atomic weight trend sort of thing. Right. So when we're dealing with it vertically, how come the same thing doesn't happen? Uh, that's a very good question. And the reason that is, is because it has to do with the en energy levels or shells of the electrons as you go vertically. Oh, that's right. Because, because every time we get to a new yes. row like this, we Because essentially, you know, octet filled here, 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 and here. And once you fill those octets, you can't go back down. You can't really squish it any further. It's like you trying to, you know, squish a steel ball sort of thing. Or it could be like if you have trying to make a ball out of rubber bands, you keep adding the rubber bands and it gets bigger. Exactly. That makes sense. Yeah, that's a pretty good analogy right there. Okay. All right. Cool. Now we'll talk about ionization energy. Ionization energy is, you know, how much energy is required to remove an electron from an atom. Basically, to make an ion sort of thing? Yes. Ah, okay. Like that. So, if you were to hazard a guess as to the horizontal trend for that, what would you say? To the right or to the left? Well, that's just tricky because when I always think about ions, I think about you know the relative location of the noble gases, and the closer mm -hmm. something is, you know, depending on its location, like if you're over here, it's easier for these guys to lose electrons mm -hmm. than it is for these guys. These guys want to gain electrons. Yeah. Since, you know, every element wants to behave like its closest noble gas. Yeah. So I'm going to say then that based on that, if we're going to want to easily lose electrons here, basically it's going to be easier to rip electrons from these guys, that the ionization is going to increase the closer we get to the noble gas. And you would be correct. All right. It increases going to the right. Awesome. So how about going vertical? Hmm. Well, now let me think. Well, these guys down here are kind of big. Yeah. And the bigger an element is, it's a little bit more unstable. Mm -hmm. So I would think that it would be easier to remove electrons from these guys. So you kind of think of it as a room. I'm going to actually, I'll draw a picture. Well, there's no one to draw a picture, but I can give you an example. If you're watching your kid in a small room, it's easier to keep track of him in a small room, whereas if he's in a really big room, it's you can't really keep track of them that well. So it's kind of the same thing here. These guys can't keep track of their electrons as well. So then it would be easier for them to lose it. Okay, that's fair enough. So then that would mean that the trend increases ionization energy going up. That's correct. Gotcha. So essentially what it is, is 
you know, as I said before with the energy levels, it's essentially, the, it's, you're f getting further from the nucleus, the positive charge, meaning the electrons, the negative charge, are furthest away, meaning it's a lot easier, you know, snatch them up. I gotcha. Yes. Cool. And then, of course, helium has the highest ionization energy, considering where it is. Okay, that's cool. All right. Now, I think we have time for one more trend, electronegativity. Now, that is how much, uh, how much uh, atom wants electrons, wants to take electrons. So, basically, it's like the desire for an element to want to gain or lose electrons. Exactly. Okay. So, if we were to determine the trend for that, say we go horizontally. Well, I understand it takes to have both of them at the same time. Okay. Because it sounds to me that ionization energy and electronegativity seem to be very, very similar. Okay. And I'm going to take a guess and say that it's going to be exactly the same kind of trend. Yeah, something like that. Now, there is one caveat to that, though. Do you think the noble gases are going to have a high electronegativity? Well, I'm going to say they have not, because they already have, they're stable, they have their octet, they have no desire to want to gain or lose Exactly. Their so, essentially, with the noble gases, they aren't considered to have an electronegativity. Okay. They don't want to lose electrons, they don't want to gain electrons. They're like Switzerland, they're neutral. <laughs> Yes, anyways, these, those are, that's a bit about the trends on the periodic table. You may come across more as time goes on. But those are the three main ones that you need to know about and be concerned with. Pretty cool. I feel like I'm shopping now. Well. What? <laughs> We're talking about trends. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, I'll see you later. Yep. Thank you.